So, uh, welcome to the yearly report of what uh, the Exoc Foundation has been up to. And first things first, I'd say a huge applause for an absolutely excellently organized uh, XTC this year by uh, all the people here from Igalia and TTU. So yeah, really, I'm, I'm seriously impressed with all the little details, like the stick, uh, the, the signage on the buses, so you know where to get off, and all these things. Re really impressive work. Uh, more XTC stuff. Uh, we have sponsored this year, so great thanks to them again. Um, being able to to get sponsoring money is was one of the really big reasons for why we've. Uh, switch to uh, SPI two years ago, so we wouldn't have to deal with uh, the IRS anymore. And this year is the first time around we tried to get uh, some sponsors, and last minute we managed to get that up to, to eight sponsors, so uh, it succeeded beyond our expectations, definitely for sure. Uh, I think for next year we, we have like all the big GPU companies here. I think we have a bit of gaps with, with maybe the SOC vendors. So it would be nice if we can get some more of those on board. So if you're working for one of them or if you have contacts or know whom we should ping from the board like for uh, marketing outreach management, uh, please, please send an email to board at or, or ping me later on so we have the contact details. Uh, it, I think we're doing a really good job with the sponsors kind of reflecting the entire community, but it's always uh, good to strive for more. Uh, the other big thing that was a first for XTC is uh, talks. We got a massive load of talks this year. Uh, one week before the deadline, it looked like it's totally easy and just a handful of talks, and then the deadline approached and we had 35 talks in our inbox on the problem. Well, a really nice problem. So, we were late with sending out confirmation and rejection letters, unfortunately, because creating a program uh, is work. And uh, we'll try to do better next time, uh, have a bit of more realistic estimate of how much time it will take us to get back to you folks. Uh, we're also trying to take notes about how we try to structure the program, so because we had to reject about half the talks, we, we tried to select the talks that uh, were reporting new developments, new issues that had a good potential for lots of hallway tracks and workshop tracks. Uh, we also tried to uh, point a lot of the people who submitted talks about similar topics to the workshop track. So I'll like tell them, look, these other people also want to chat about the same topic. Maybe you want to do a workshop track. I think that worked out fairly well. I guess we see that in the lightning talk when we, when we hear all the reports out. But it uh, was fairly busy schedule, I think, in the workshop track. So anyway, uh, feedback, very much welcome. This is kind of the first time we had to select talks. Uh, so your opinion, I mean, XTC is for all you. So what you want matters, whether we should change the conference or whether this is okay, or whether we should put a bit of different focus on the talk selection. Uh, also, um, you're very much welcome to volunteer for paper committees uh, duties. It's a lot of work, but it's also interesting work. So with that, yeah, please hand your feedback if you have any to the board, and um, we'll try to, to do better next year. Um, next up is, is all the internship programs. Uh, we had two GSOC students this year, uh, both successful. Uh, we have one still ongoing EVOC, that's, that's our own program that 
has more flexibility, the schedule and all that. And uh, we've done the uh, successful outreach internships uh, on DRI Devil under the Linux kernel umbrella. Um, there's still a bit the problem that we expect that interns magically figure out how to contribute. So I think that's, that's a bit of a gap that some people have been looking into, so hopefully it gets better. Uh, some some how-tos for doing first patches and understanding a bit how a GPU stack works. In general, help is very much welcome. I think helping with mentoring people, with uh, creating projects, with uh, making good PR so people are aware that we're offering this opportunity. Um, if there's interest, uh, the board definitely has the money to pay for outreaches in like Xorg in general, so not just the kernel. Uh, I think we can do more with GSOC. In past years, we had up to like five, six students. So this year it was just two. Uh, so yeah, help very much welcome. And thanks a lot to the people who've organized this this year. Although if Rob Clark doing uh, EVOC, it's unfortunately not here. And Martin Perez handling GSOC. Um, also somewhat related, I uh, forgot actually to do a slide for that, just remember that. S thanks to sponsors, we ma could extend our travel sponsorship grant program. So in the past, also related to this, the, the CFP issues, in the past you had to have an accepted talk for XTC to be considered for travel sponsoring grants, a few other uh, things. And we extend this so anyone who submits a, t uh, a reasonable good proposal for a talk uh, can also apply for a travel sponsorship. Uh, maybe we need to change this again, but we really want to make sure that the people who should be here can be here. And the board is very happy to help out if, if travel sponsorships and help in that regard. Um, on that, uh, Generally, we try to announce uh, where the next XTC will be. Uh, we have a nice proposal. We didn't have enough board votes. Oh, so the final proposal we just received last week. And unfortunately, a bunch of people uh, were, uh, couldn't, couldn't attend XTC, and so we were missing two board votes to pass this. And in two weeks, hopefully, I can announce uh, that we've improved this. Uh, same with XTC, uh, we, we have a wiki page where we kind of try to collect uh, what is necessary to run a good XTC. So if you see things missing there, please reach out to us or uh, look, yeah, look at the, the RFP page. Uh, there's definitely a lot of things that we should add to this page that uh, the GPU uh, people here have done just a stellar job at other little details, organizing them. Uh, and as I said already, uh, sponsors are very much welcome. Uh, as our current sponsorship policy, we probably need to tune it a little bit with the experience from this year. Uh, as I mentioned, if you know someone who should be sponsoring XTC or might be interested in sponsoring XTC, please. Uh, reach out to us. Um, next topic is the FDO merger. Uh, Daniel Stone already explained a bit why we're considering this. Um, this will need a bylaw change because currently FDO infrastructure is not in scope for the XORG Foundation. Uh, so the, we, 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 we're working on some uh, a draft for the bylaw changes, right now the proposal is a very minimal, which is add the FDO server infrastructure as a new project to, that is in scope for XORG Foundation. Um, one question we've been discussing a bit is whether we should open up membership for uh, the projects hosted on the free desktop infrastructure. And I think consensus pretty clearly is we're not going to open up in general because this would dilute the XORG's mission and the XORG's focus on a, on a graphics stack and an open source graphics stack. Uh, but one proposal that has been floated whether maybe 
project representatives should be included so that they have some stakes. But uh, I think most people lean to it that uh, FDO infrastructure, free desktop infrastructure and project relationship is just a pure hosting relationship like for example you have when you run on, on gitlab.com or github.com or search for or any of, of these others and, and they do not uh, have like special voting rights to influence what free desktop and Nexorg is doing. Uh, but again on this, I mean, in the end, it's up to the members about what's okay. So we'd like to hear your feedback if you have opinions on this. But right now I would say the leaning to it, we just include free desktop infrastructure um, because that's already really closely tied to what Dexorg is doing. And we're gonna exclude all the random project hosted on that infrastructure. Oh, but yeah, Daniel Stone has gone in a lot of the details of why exactly we kind of uh, entertaining merging a free desk dump with XORG. Um, the final thing is, where's the button? On the foundation itself, uh, I mean, this is what we're doing. We're, we're trying to support the community uh, with internships, travel grants, uh, getting sponsors for XTC and all that stuff. Uh, not doing any of the actual development itself, of course, but if you, if you want to help out, if you want to have a say in, in, in what XORG is doing, please become a member. Uh, everyone in here qualifies, like I attended XTC is more than reason enough. Uh, there's the member page, there's a link on that where you can uh, apply for membership and this, the only really mandatory thing on there is why you should be a member, like what have you done and I was at XTC 2018 as perfectly sufficient reason. Um, so that's the updates from the XORG Foundation site, so any questions on, or suggestions, ideas on the CFP, on the FDO merger, I think that's the big topic, so I'm not interested in people. Questions? Statements? Uh, since you've been actively trying to kill X for the last oh, 10 years or so, um, and with the merger with FDO, uh, is there any name branding changes in the plans? Um, it comes up as a topic occasionally. It's just, it's a really cool domain name and it's a really cool name and we're really bad at marketing. So, I would say if someone is, is really interested in polishing uh, our presence and, and kind of making our mission a bit more appealing. I think that would be really awesome. It's just, we seem to be lacking a bit in the marketing skills and nice polishing with CSS and, and all that stuff. But yeah, it's, it's a bit of a mismatch that we do an XTC and have zero talks about X. It happens. But I mean, in all fairness, there was zero talk submitted about X. So it wasn't the papers committee. More questions, suggestions, comments, opinions? I think this is all. Uh, thank you, Daniel.